welcome to Drop the Puck. We're here for a really, really special game. And this uh, August uh, time of season when the teams are just getting ready and prepping, doing all their practice games. And of course, it includes charity games and Drop the Puck. There's no exception. We've been included in this special day here at Swindon Ice Rink for a very, very special charity game. Yeah, of course, the uh, Brimble Elite. We're going to take on the Swindon Spitfires, all in aid of Brimble Hill Special School, which uh, very dear, held there in the heart of Simon Bellamy, who is the, obviously the manager of the uh, Swindon Spitfires. Uh, I was luckily enough to be able to catch up with Ben and Simon earlier, uh, the organisers of the event, and uh, this is what they have to say. I'm here with Simon Bellamy and Ben Jones. Guys, it's your, day, your big day to finally come round. How excited are you? Massively. It's, uh, it's been a long time coming, so to actually be here today and have it done, finally, yeah, really excited. Yeah, a lot of work's gone into this. As, you know, we've been linking up quite a lot of money with a lot of people helping out. Um, so, yeah, big day's here. bit nervy, hoping everything <laughs> goes all right, but I'm sure it will. So, uh, yeah, excited to get going, really. So the whole reason we are here today is obviously Brimble Special School. Ben, what is Brimble Special School? Uh, so Brimble Hill Special School is actually a, um, a school that Simon's son, Luca, goes to. So when he asked me to get involved with it and wanted to help out, it's, um, it's a school that basically helps children with severe learning difficulties to not only day-to-day -day teaching, so your maths, your English, your science, all that sort of stuff, but it also helps them how to develop as a, as a person, how to deal with real-world situations and go... It's stuff that we take for granted, as I've said many times before. It's, it's stuff we don't really look at. It helps them to cope with those situations and how to go forth with it, really, and develop on their own as well. So it's definitely a worthwhile charity. To yourself, how much does it mean that you were able to get the support, the hockey family behind you for this event? Yeah, it's, it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, the, the, the school, we, we can't really say how much the school does, but um, it's not just the children, it's the families. Yeah. Um, it's everyone else involved as well. Um, they, they, there's a lot of people here today that have a connection with the school um, and they all know how hard the staff work. And, and we live in times at the moment where funding's not great across the board for everything. So any 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 bit of money that's come in from this event is, is going to be massively appreciated. Um, I believe most of it will be going on sports equipment, specialist sports equipment as well. So, it, you know, like you said, there's things that we take for granted. That there needs to be other you know options available for, for certain children at school as well. So it'll help go towards that. So with the hockey community getting behind and all over the country, and then obviously Ben stepping in um, yourselves and. And everyone that's backed it, it's, it's been fantastic. And I think it's a great advert for, for how hockey is really coming on um, in the country. That, uh, you know, people are getting behind charity events, the leagues are growing, and more people are playing hockey, which is obviously what, what we're about as well as a recreational team. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's been fantastic. Now we can see on the ice behind you at the moment, it's full of the general public enjoying the last few minutes before your specialist selected teams go and tear <laughs> it up. <laughs> We've got the Brimble Elite team, Ben, obviously made by yourself there. So elite, elite hockey, tell us a little bit about elite hockey first. Uh, so elite hockey, as we know we've spoken in the past, it's um, basically it's a new brand of ice hockey equipment. So we're a full kit supplier, as you know. Uh, at the moment, we're predominantly working on our gloves and our sticks. And it's, it's not just we've taken a existing product and put our name on it. We've actually redeveloped the stick from the ground up. So it's a very specialist, unique carbon um, that is both strong and light. Uh, and the best thing about it, though, is the price point. The main thing that I experienced over the years, and I know a lot of players and kids that I'm coaching and stuff, is the general price of stuff. It's You break a stick, it's £300 a stick every time, you're dead out of pocket. And as Simon said, the economy isn't great, people are struggling day to day. The last thing you want to do is go and spend five grand on a full kit setup. Whereas if our stick, I'm not saying it's the very best stick in the world, but it gives you that price that you can go and buy the stick, you can afford to buy a couple of them at a time. But the best thing about it, we've only had one break since January, and that's with the ENL ones and ENL twos. So it's a decent product that does it. Uh, with our gloves, the, the fact that we offer a full customized option. Uh, so as you've probably seen on the Facebook and all the other people using the gloves, it's uh, we match our colors to the jerseys. Uh, we offer the logo, we offer the name and the number. Um, and it's just something that you, you can get from other teams, from other uh, vendors, sorry, but you're paying a, a price point for it. We're offering a price point that's affordable that you can kit the entire team out. Not to say everyone wants to do that, obviously, but it's an option there for them. Uh, we find a lot of roller guys, obviously they like to be full kit, I won't say the last word, but they like to have everything matching, so we can offer that to them at a discounted price and then go forward. Um, but generally the whole, the whole thing about Elite, from the coaching side of things to the product side of things, has been giving back to hockey. So with our coaching stuff, we take it back to how it was as juniors. We, we teach the basics of skating and 
and puck control and personal stuff. I've always been in the opinion, if you teach the person to skate, the team together will come up. Uh, there's so many teams nowadays that just focus on team drills and forget the one or two that can't skate and they, they get lost somewhere in the lines. Um, and especially from a junior standpoint, those players that did get lost might not make it to ENL1, ENL2, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not saying it will help them get there, but it just gives them that little extra confidence to push forward and then go, go on from there. So. so obviously, as well as part of the branding, you are sponsoring players, one such which is Lilo Bellamy. We'll talk to him shortly. But for yourself, how you know getting the team together, how hard was it to get a bunch of guys to actually want to willingly do this? Actually, it was easy as hell. Um, we put the post up because Simon's actually done this event for the last two years with rec players, so taking a select 16. Um, however, I didn't get an invite last year, did you I, Simon? Didn't, no, no you didn't. thank you for that. You weren't quite on the radar at that no, time. No, yeah, right? cheers, mate. The Cougars were too good for you, that's what it was. <laughs> um, but no, so we, we, when he came to me, asked me to get involved, obviously, with me sponsoring Lilo. I was like, right, let's do it, but let's make it bigger this year. So I put a post out, obviously, with the connections we have through Elite Hockey and over the years. And I think within about half an hour, we had 15 yeah, guys, it didn't was, we? It was the, the, the response was incredible really by so many players yeah. um, unfortunately we, we couldn't accommodate everybody um, we've had some unfortunately drop out people that have come straight back in and, yeah. and so on but um, a lot of the players have a connection here with Swindon not all of them but a, a large majority do yeah. which we felt was quite a good feel um, so uh, so yeah it was really positive and um, yeah next year is going to be uh, Interesting, yeah. <laughs> well, the good thing we have, um, when we put the post out there, obviously we had players straight away from rec players and uh, ENL ones and twos. Um, but then it started after, like, I think the first 15 was mostly ones and twos players that we selected and went forward from there. And then within, I think it was a couple of days after that, we started getting elite league players getting involved as well. So the likes of Kieran Longs and Tom Rutkiss and uh, Adam Harden, all ones get involved, which to get the elite leagues to want to come down and do this is, is an amazing thing. Obviously, Kieran has a connection here, as we said. But like Adam and Tom's, I don't think they have a connection. They, uh, they had spells with the Swindon Wildcats. Oh, they got, they uh, did have spells, yeah. So yeah, that's, this is what I mean. The connections are quite broad. We've had people that, are, you know, some of the players are from Swindon, some of the players have played with Swindon, and, and I think some of the other players have been involved with, even some with the, with the school, with, with Brimble Hill School as well. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, across the board, they, it was it's just been fantastic. The responses, I just can't say anything more than that. It's just <laughs> been fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited to uh, to get going. Really. Um, Hope my boys do okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we say that. Obviously, it's a bit of a star-studded roster there for the Elite Brimble. Yeah. Hopefully, they'll, they'll go a little bit easy and enjoy the, uh, the session for what it is. But let's focus on the opposite side of the puck, and that is the Swindon Spitfires. So tell us a little bit about the Spitfires, a bit of background on them. Yeah, so we started uh, 2016. Um, rec hockey was getting quite big here, but we didn't have the teams to sort of facilitate the players that were coming new into the game, players that were dropping out of the leagues and so on. Um, so I had a conversation one day with uh, with my assistant manager, now assistant manager, and we decided to, to try and start a club. Um, we started off independently with, with a few players that were at the Learn to Play program and a few other players that used to play juniors and we sort of got a team together. Um, everybody beat us for the first year pretty much, which was expected, but it was a great learning curve. Um, we then had the owner of the Swindon Wildcats get involved with us and we became affiliated under them with, uh, with Steve Nell and the, and the uh, Wildcats in the community program. Um, then the following year we decided to, because of the popularity and the way the team was going to, to grow into an A and a B team. So we have that sort of de that development between the two teams um, where players that are still learning the game can, can play in a, in a comfortable environment and have competitive hockey um, and have an A team that really are they're quite good players. They're, they they're, they're, good we, players. We've got some. I've, I've got some players in my team that have, you know, they've been playing hockey all their life and have played for played for big teams uh, up and down the leagues, um, and they enjoy the social side of it, which is important. Um, but what we felt from what we found with with the Spitfires is it's, it's it's just a good feeling. It's a good feeling in the team. Um, you know, we, 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 we take people on. We help to develop, um, and it's the enjoyment side of it. And, and we offer those two sort of teams there where. The abilities are, you know, it doesn't matter what the ability is in the B team. It's about it's about enjoyment and getting more people into hockey, which is ideally what we all want to do. Yeah. We want to grow ice hockey, and it's a great way of doing it. Um, so yeah, my uh, my team are looking forward to it. A little bit cautious and a bit worried, I think, but um, they're, they're all good friends. Obviously, where they've played before, some of the some of the older guys they played in the league with some of the other guys in the Brimble team. So yeah. um, it's going to be an exciting game. Oh, yeah. I've actually um, skated with Simon's A and B team on different training sessions, and I've got to say, it, 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 as he says, it is a very nice atmosphere from everyone. There's no animosity. Um, there's no one that feels they're better than anyone else. Everyone helps each other. 
uh, which is really great. So I've had a few of your guys come to my elite sessions yeah. as well, and yeah. they've been helping my guys sometimes as, as a single coach doing it. They can get a bit overwhelmed, so they've actually helped some of our guys do some stuff, and, and vice versa. I've come out and helped yeah. you guys with a few drills. We've, and we, we've created quite a link there now, haven't yeah. we, between obviously Elite and, um, and, and ourselves, which we have a game yes. tomorrow, funny enough. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so that would be, be great again for our development teams to, to, to again experience um, that sort of match environment, which is Hopefully, which it is might great. be 6 0 this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, you two guys must be getting yourselves ready. And will in the players are downstairs itching to get the skates on and get out on that ice. The only thing we can say from here, gentlemen, is best luck to both of you and may the best team win. Good luck, then. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I'm, I was really interested in, Gary, is we managed to sneak a camera earlier on into the locker room for the guys, and this is what he saw. So, interesting comments there. Uh, it's prepping itself up to be a really, really good game. Yeah, obviously, you know, very star selected uh, team there by Ben Jones for the Brimble Elite. Likes of Kieran Long from the Manchester Storm, Adam Harding from the uh, Milton Keynes Lightning. So, as he said in the interview there, a lot of guys, right the way up from the elite, right the way down to ref, all wanting to get involved, all for the, you know, the good cause. It is, certainly is a good cause. Of course, one thing we can't forget, the fans, it's almost a sellout crowd here today, there's still people clambering for tickets. Um, unfortunately, if you weren't lucky enough to come and see it, you catch it here on our BASN YouTube channel where you can catch all of our other games, previous seasons and stuff like this. But this one, I can't wait for this to start, Ben. I think it's going to be a cracker. Yeah, certainly, you know, uh, again, going back to the interview there, uh, Simon said that, you know, the, the Spitfires only came out in uh, two, 2016, so that they're a very young squad still. But already within that time, they've developed enough to have two teams, so they've got the A team and the B team. The atmosphere throughout is absolutely superb. And they're all in it just for a laugh. We know it's going to be a charity game. It might not be the same pace that we used to hear on Drop the Puck, but at the end of the day, it's all in good you know, faith. It's all in good aid. And it's not just going to be a case of you know, seeing the, the hockey that's actually played in between the periods, but in the period breaks as well, we're going to have lots of little skill challenges going on, uh, lots of great stuff to keep the crowd entertained as well. So thoroughly, you know, an enjoyable day. Well, without further ado, I think we, uh, prior to going down to the ice, I think it's time to have a word from our sponsors, Elite Hockey. Elite Hockey offer a full customization package on their gloves. The Elite Max stick comes in a variety of curves and flex, suitable for left and right handed players. Place your order today, either via Facebook or the website. Some good stuff there, Ben. Yeah, you know, quality, quality merch, and uh, Ben's already told us, you know, it's it's the merch the guys want at the reasonable price as well. Uh, and those sticks, obviously, the entire Brimble Elite team today will be icing with those sticks from Elite Hockey, uh, so you'll be able to see them in action. Remember, if you do like the look of them, be able to hit them up on Facebook, on uh, the website as well. You can always find the link through uh, Basson on the drop hook page as well. We'll have that up there. I don't think uh, I don't think anybody's going to hold back. I think, as we know, all these games are all about fun, uh, enjoying the ice hockey. Guys getting to play with other guys that they normally wouldn't play with. They're playing against or at different levels. But fun is the main aspect. But I think it'd be interesting to see who's going to come away the winners today. Yeah, you know, I, I, the guys did mention, you know, if obviously. Uh, the Spitfires are a rec team. They're not going to go out and absolutely trounce them. Going to give them a reasonable, you know, comfortable game. But at the same time, I think the Spitfires could cause the elite to slip up. It'll be really interesting to see how it goes. Well, without further ado, I think it's time to uh, go to the ice, and, and we're going to drop, drop the, the puck. puck. So we can see the teams getting ready, waiting for the puck to drop. Swindon will be icing on the left-hand side, shooting left to right, wearing the yellow and blue. Brimble Elite wearing that lovely white and black shirt here with the gold emblem, Gary. Yeah, they're looking rather smart, I must say, both such of shirts. And the face-off immediately won there by Swindon, who takes straight into the zone for Brimble. Brimble, quickly, game back back, Callum Buglas. Goes D to D. Finds Ads Andrews, Andrews plays it forward, finds Long, Long skates into the zone. Quickly puts it round into the corner. 
Elite putting early pressure on. Yeah. Swindon trying to dig her out. Super there. Oh, and it's shot in. Oh, oh. oh Darren Elliott. <laughs> Well, he was not messing around there, was he, Gary? No, we expected a quick start, though, from the Elite. He just uh, feeds up into the slot, and Elliot puts it away between the glove and the post. Swindon now, clear that puck deep into the Elite zone. Going to be chased up there by Weston. Stefan. Into the corner, Elite trying to desperately dig it out. Swindon still in possession though. You see there Jordan waiting in the paint area. Dangerous, Bugless moves oh, in. Hey. Passes in, it's in! It's all. Oh, Jordan Davis well, sat on the edge of the paint, waiting for that. Just one on one there, and uh, he was basically open, given a chance from the byline. The pass comes in, he slots it in, and that's the equaliser. Swindon in possession again. Early asking questions there of Dibble. Swindon, great pressure. Oh, oh, shot comes in. Dibble has to get down, deflected out. And definitely these Spitfires have got the bit between their teeth. Elite on the break now. Shot trying to go. Oh. Whoa, it was great defensive work there. Cuts a pass right out. And straight and, down the other end. Yeah, bit of an odd man rush. Oh. Ooh, good shot. Picked up the air there by Dibble. Well Just done. Dumps that away. Elite now having to retreat out their own zone. Good pressure coming from Swindon in this first period. Great pass forward. Finds Harding, Harding dispossessed. Puck goes into the corner. Super there waiting in the slot. Swindon received that and break straight down the other way though. And here comes Swindon on the old man rush. Oh, textbook there from Swindon. Oh my goodness. Oh, Charlie West. What a pass coming in from there. Stefan there though, Gary. Yeah, Stefan feeding it down the ice, just waiting for that last moment. And he feeds it across to West and as calm as you like, puts him to that top corner. Again, Harding deep in the Swindon zone. The elite trying to get something back late in this first period. But great defensive work so far from the Spitfires. Into the corner again. Chase down. It's crowded defence here for Spitfires. You see Ahmed just getting shoved out the way. Denied. Save again. Thompson's having a, a really good first period though. Yeah, he's impressed me between the pipes there. As quickly you can see Swindon are trying to dig that out and get it back up the other end. Oh, oh out dangerously in front. Well defended and cleared away. Yeah, you can't do that, because Harding would have just put that away if he'd have had the opportunity. And now, up the other end. Puck cleared straight back down. Johnson knocks it forward. Skates oh, it in, shot comes in off the shoulder of Thompson. Another good save by Thompson. And again. The leads are starting to ask questions of this Spitfire defence, though. Very much so. Tom Ruckis there of the Cardiff Devils. Great shot, but Jamie Thompson having an absolute stormer of the first period. And it's jumped on very quickly again. Here we go again. Another odd man rush. Oh! <laughs> oh. The initial shot deflected out straight onto the stick there. And Dibble's got to be kicking himself there. And it's the captain, Gary Loveday, with the goal. Seb Schiffers with the assist. Uh, as you can see, when that pass comes across, and Loveday just slots him, but the Dibble was facing the wrong way completely. He didn't have anything to do. He missed it completely. Well, what a first period, Gary. That's been absolute end-to-end -end action. 3-1, though, advantage already to the, the Spitfires. Who'd have thought? Well, they've impressed me in this first period. Can they maintain this pressure? It's currently now going into the end of this first period. Spitfires 3 and the Elite 1. Elite Hockey offer a full customization package on their gloves. The Elite Max stick comes in a variety of curves and flex suitable for left and right-handed players. Place your order today, either via Facebook or the website.
well. That was uh, the merchandise there from Elite Hockey, and as you can see, the pucks <laughs> are flying from the stands. Well, let me explain a little bit about what this is all about. Uh, apparently, prior to the start of today, you could go... <laughs> a lot of close ones. You could go out and purchase a puck from the table with a number on it, and each person throws the puck at one of the three cones on the ice. Each cone has a prize attached to it, and the nearest puck to the cones wins that particular prize. Now, as you can see, I'm sure there's still a few more pucks to go out, but there is one or two pucks. Oh, 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 oh there. There's a few that have hit and bounced off. Well, it looks interesting. Oh, yeah. Some oh, last ones going on. <laughs> and you can see our mascots there itching to get on and get those pucks. So they're going to pick the nearest one. So there's one selected, I think. As you can see from our camera guy, it's that one well done. And a one final puck I can see on that other one there. Yeah, and Lilo Bellamy there doing his job great. So three lucky winners win some excellent prizes. Courtesy of today's sponsors. And now it's uh, the little guy's duties. How far away are they, Ben? They look, <laughs> they look tiny, then, players. <laughs> well, of course, Lilo Bellamy, one of the uh, elite sponsor players, and uh, earlier on, after speaking to Simon and uh, Ben, I was able to sit down with Lilo a little bit and ask him about how he started hockey and where he's going. I'm with future hockey protege Lilo Bellamy. Lilo, we're here at the Brimble Hill Special School event today. How much does it mean to you to be here? It means a lot to me because I've been waiting for six months and I'm just glad this moment has happened today. Now, you are one of the lucky guys to be sponsored by Elite Hockey. What does that mean for yourself? It means a lot. It's... Elite has took me to the next level and they've got gear coming out and it's going to be really comfortable on me. Cool. So one of the bonuses as well about being sponsored by Elite is the training camps that are put on. Do you feel that, that you know, you're benefiting from them? Yeah, I think I'm going, like I said earlier, I'm going to the next level because it's really pushing me playing with adults and like older teenagers. Now... You've only been playing hockey for a few years being a kid, so tell us a little bit about your story so far. Where did it all start? So it all started, I actually used to do karate, and then I went to my friend's birthday party, and it was at this skating rink here, and I, was, I said to my dad, I was like, I really want to play hockey and skate, and then we had to sadly quit karate, and then we went to hockey and I skate. I started at when I was six, and I started skating, playing hockey, and I've just come to this moment right now. So, your first team, who was that you played for? My first team was Swindon, like where I am here now. But then I moved to Cardiff, Devils, a junior team, and I'm really enjoying it there. So now Cardiff Devils obviously recognised for their elite league, and they've got a great development programme. How do you feel you're getting on there? I feel it's really good coaching. The one reason I moved to Swindon is because the coaching and the passing and all the hockey-related stuff. And when I went to Cardiff, it was just amazing. I just loved it. Excellent. Well, hopefully we'll see you out on the ice there today, Lilo. But if not, we'll definitely see you in the future. Yeah, thank you. Well, that was, that was a bit of an interesting insight into that young man's life. <laughs> yeah, you know, he, he, he's 10 now. He started when he's six. He's only been skating for four years. And to come from a completely different background, so to move from martial arts to skating, you know, it, it, it's, it's a big ask. It is, and it, of course, oh, yeah. ice hockey, you know, you, it's one of those sports, I suppose, like any other sport, that you have to go out and source. Yeah, no, luckily for him, he's got the facilities of Swindon Ice Rink on his doorstep, you know, and obviously watching the Wildcats as well got him interested. Um, but, you know, he's in a really good place now, you know, he's with the Cardiff Devils juniors. 
<laughs> Cardiff Devils, obviously, elite league hockey. It's, it's the pinnacle of British hockey here at the moment. And, you know, the guys like that at the moment are able to chain out the likes of Liam Kirk, who's now playing in the NHL. First officially recognised British dream, British born player. Yeah, we've seen Liam a long time ago, didn't we? And very much so. And it's, it's great for the sport, so we know British hockey's moving in the right direction. Well, of course, there's lots of other teams in your area. It's worth checking online. You Google Ice Hockey UK and, and see if the, the nearest rink to you. They may have a rec team or they may have a league team. We're going along trying to join in their junior setups or at any level, really, whatever the age. There's always something there for you. But it's uh, back to the game itself, Ben. Interesting first period. Um, Elite came out and got that first early goal. And then, of course, it looked like they just sat back a bit and, and let Swindon in there. Yeah, I think it was uh, pretty much, let's go out and stamp our authority on this game quite quick. <laughs> you know, just, just remind them exactly who we are. Um, and I, I kind of expected that, you know what I mean? Um, but to be fair, Swindon have come out, you know, put a little bit of a show on really well, picking up on those loose pucks that you know, get dangled out in front of them, jumping on the breakaway, they've asked questions to Dibble, he's denied a few. On the flip side, though, on the opposite end, Thompson's having a little bit of a blinder at the moment. Plenty of those shots could have quite easily gone in. Well, it'll be interesting to see whether they change up. Obviously, there'll be a lot of change of players. See if they change netminder. Uh, if I was Swindon, I'd certainly leave Thompson between the posts there because he's doing his job. Um, but who knows? There's plenty more to come. I think it's time to go and join the action in that second period. As we get ready to drop the puck on this second period, you can see there Lilo Bellamy taking the face off. Well, he's got to be really proud. And he's won it as well. <laughs> <laughs> and immediately trying to find Bellamy. For it's going to be Swindon. It's a bit of a size difference here, I think, somehow. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing we haven't seen before, Gary. <laughs> Love Day takes a shot of Dibble. Rutkins picks it up out in front, though. And Love Day's just carried on where he left off, really. Berglas finds Bellamy. Bellamy takes it over the centre. Oh, is he going to score one? Takes the shot. Oh, into the side of the net. <laughs> Rookins finds it. Finds Bellamy again out front. It's in! Lilo Bellamy with the goal. Remember, you saw him here first, guys. Uh, Star of the future, that one. I don't... I don't... Don't get me wrong, but I think that may have been set up, Ben. <laughs> well, you think what you want, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think Swindon have gifted them a goal there, but are we going to get back to the action? Well, 3-2 and the clock's still running, 18.50 remaining in this second period. And now Swindon deciding to handicap themselves and only put four men out. <laughs> <laughs> As I think they've just realised the man comes over the board. <laughs> Oh, what's in? Quick in. That's Hardy. Well, straight away. You give them an opportunity and they'll take it. Yeah. Adam Harding and the Milk Team's Lightning there. Uh, Brimble have tied this game up. Now it's now Swindon Spitfires 3. Brimble Elite 3. Yeah, obviously Harding normally icing for the Lightning there. 626 games to his name. For 100, 199 goals to his name. So that was his 200th goal. Well, Jody's proud. <laughs> now Elite, back on possession. And Aldridge, Aldridge knocks it forward down the wing. Armour has to put the gas on, but it's knocked away quickly by so, Shrimpton. So it's a level playing field now, Ben. Shot comes in, oh. Thompson denies off the post. Swindon again, look to break. Using the board. Unlucky bounce, West can't chase that down. Kieran Long, pass that forward, Rutkins, Rutkins, big stretch pass, finds a man coming out on the change, Super, Philip Super now, out Telford Tigers, knocks it round, Rutkins of the Cardiff Devils, and Aldridge is there as well, Aldridge, ex Wyndham Wildcat, Long, oh, tried to feed that but it wasn't there in time, Kieran Long, regularly icing for the Manchester Storm, so, Elite going with their elite lineup at the moment, pretty much. Yeah. As 
Swindon look to turn down ice. Oh, West stumbled. is unable to pick that up. Out front. Oh, and it's in. It's in. It's a great little move there. Yeah, they stole that puck really well, as you can see from our replay. It's come and it just do a little one two to each other. Yeah, and slots it in the net. So it's now Swindon Spitfires three, Rimble Elite four. Oh no, it's goal by Super, in fact. <laughs> Philip Super credited with the goal. First assist coming from Kieran Long. Puck straight back down from Swindon. Oh. Out in front. Managed to get a second bite of the cherry. Find it, man, in the slot. Oh, Trying to turn around. Dibble gets his stick on it, pushes it away. Everybody's a little bit laxadaisy in the front of that net there. Spearing now. Feeds that puck up. Big pass in the middle. Finds Cal. Cal puts it back in. Swindon get a stick on it. Look to turn and face the other way and do so. Quickly break down, enter the elite zone. Takes the shot. Shippers out and front of the net there. Oh. Dibble's able to kick that away. Try and give possession back to elite. Spearing. Center ice. Turn back. Oh. oh. Granville missed his opportunity. Yeah, it'd have been a great breakaway there for the Spitfires. Oh, and is he going to steal it again? No. Back on the boards on the far side there. Hargreaves. Tie up. Board near side. Yeah, Bradley just feeding that in. Oh. Out in front. Oh, Granville just fed it there. Rose puts it back through the slot. It's gone all the way through. And we break with Price. Oh. Price. Elliot in support. Elliot picks it up. Tries oh, to find the man on the back. Oh, I door. missed it. My goodness. Still keep. The play alive though. Swindon desperately scrambling to find a man. Carl must be kicking himself for missing that. Managed to clear the puck out. Love day. Nice stuff pass. Ooh. Finds Rouse. Great telescopic pass there across ice. Oh! Shot oh. that's deflected up off. Still in the ring though. Deflection. And Ben Jones. Jones trying to get in on the action there. Love Day's able to reel that back in and take it back defensively for Swindon. Finds Rouse. Great stop there by Berglas. As we look and turn and go. The elite again, that was with Johnson. Rock. Brimble just knocking the puck around. Find Jones. No right room. across the face. The goal there. Oh, just tied up in the air. Official skates. And Ben Berglas is a tall, commanding figure there in defence. Playing quite relaxed. Callum Berglas, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Callum Berglas of the Peterborough Phantoms. You can catch action from them in the NIHL 1 South Division. Oh. As Rutkins tries to take it in. It's laid off for Johnson. Johnson lines it up. It's come back out to Berglas at the point. Straight in with Rourke again. Rutkins makes sure the pass is found. Oh. Tries to scoop it out in the slot. And tie up there. Oh, it's caught. <laughs> and Davis. <laughs> Davis has kept all of his stick there. Trying to break through. 12.45 remain in this second period. 4-3 in favour of the Brimble Elite. But West with great pressure. Oh, well cut out. Was able to drive it into the Elite zone. Oh, come on. As Stefan just beats a foot race there with Andy Rourke. Oh, stolen away. Back the other way, shot up. And now tied up on the boards. <laughs> Great board play from Elite, but Swindon come out with it. And Strapper that they're all tied up there. Yeah. Spitfires. Don't know if that was some kind of play there, delay on the puck. Play it across. Harding. 
but Stratford in support. Tries to take it round his man. Still oh, hard in. A little rough around, it didn't work. Puck's come loose right down the other end, onto the stick of Dibble. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Is that abs on the floor again? <laughs> I do believe it is. <laughs> Granville, a little bit of a love tap there from Armour. I do, I do believe there was a, a gentleman's agreement before the game that they would not check. <laughs> but you never know what, what the game holds yet. So we're not getting a check. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, it might bounce. OK. <laughs> anyway, back to the action with Elite still deep in the Spitfire zone. And out in front, Swindon trying to clear that. Brimble just moving that puck around. Bellamy on the ice again, takes a shot. Oh. This time, Thompson seals him out. And it's in. <laughs> well, the Elite are trying to take uh, control of this game now with uh, a 5-3 advantage over the Swindon Spitfires. And Ben, I must say, I give uh, I give our friend Ads Andrews a, a three for that dive earlier. It's <laughs> a three, three for the dive. <laughs> Elliot takes that into the Spitfire zone, finds oh. the man up front, looks for the oh. shot. Thompson gets his skating away and denies it. Has it? <laughs> As the commentator inside announces a number that doesn't exist apparently on the roster. Maybe it was Johnny X, Gary. Johnny X, yeah, the invisible man. <laughs> As again, shot comes in, oh. Thompson denies. And that goal mouth is crowded with players there. Yeah, the elite pretty much queuing up. There's Kieran Long now. Just takes it round, Rouse. Puts the puck straight back in. Cleared down again, 9 minutes 27 remain in this second period. And again, Brimble Elite on the attack. Elliot knocks it forward for Super. Super tries to put it out on the front. Looking for the deflection as he skated into the slot. Yeah, you've got Blackwell and Shrimps in there. Big solid defensive wall for the uh, Spitfires. Trying to support Thompson. You can see Brimble trying to look for that wraparound. Oh, Spearing puts a shot well in. Well put in, Thompson pushes it away. Great breakaway for Rouse to skate down onto. He's into the corner. He's just looking for support now. Swindon now. Oh, well into cut the out. Zone. Still alive. They fight for that puck. Takes it off possession of Super Thrower. Just chasing it round. That's Stephen Thrower. Not to be confused with Ryan. Oh, well played, and Long. Kieran Long just showing why he plays oh. the lead. Elliot on the back door there looking for it. Opportunity missed there. Nice play by Long, though. And again, Swindon put the foot down. Skate that in with. Oh, oh and it's in the net! In. <laughs> Oh. Spitfire strike back. And certainly uh, a deserved goal. They've been putting a little bit of pressure on. And a goal scorer for that one. Oh, is that Croucher? Yeah, Rob Croucher. Oh, no, it's not. That's not, sorry. Yeah, it appears to be credited to Croucher. Yeah, it is Croucher, yeah. As we get back underway with the action after that Spitfire's goal. Very quickly, West tries to dig it out. Tries to push it over. But it's knocked around. Croucher again. 7-16 remain in the second period. Jones in the centre. Knocks it away. Price skates it in. Great poke check there. Tries to find the man up. Oh. Unable to do so, and it's 
Martin there with a, a three poke oh, check. Spitfire's picked it up just by the blue line. But again, the elites are breaking away. Price to Cowell. Shot. Great. Oh! oh. <laughs> Thompson kicks the initial shot away. Waiting for it to be picked up by one of his defensemen. But it's uh, snapped away. It looked like Price slotted it in. Well, it happened that quick. Oh. Oh, but I believe it's a no goal, Gary. Do a face off. As Schiffers and Jones exchanging bumps and nudges. Much to the uh, appeasement of the crowd. Well, are we starting to see a bit of friction then? <laughs> well, but she. Schiffers takes it forward. I might get my fight yet. <laughs> oh! Sniper takes him down. Cow moving forward now. Price, Jones tries to get it on the action. It's put into the corner. Behind, Spitfire's net. Thompson just knocks that into safety. It's kept in. Tries to chip it in. Picked up and thrown back on the ice. And Granville now trying to apply pressure. Swindon trying to clear the puck. Back stick. Cow. Spun on a dime and tried to clear it. You can hear the bodies and skates hitting the boards as they're moving round. Breaking forward, Bratley takes it on side. Quickly denied though by Rourke. It's picked up. Rookins. Oh, lays it off nicely to Johnson. Oh, Jackson, sorry. Yeah. And it's pushed out again. Rookins picks that up. Looks to turn inside. Leaves out for a drop pass. And the shot coming thick and fast again on the Spitfires now. 4.40 remaining second. Love day, looking to bring it out. Rookins, Hocek picks it up. Trying to find a man on front. Tom's Rutkins of the Cardiff Devils. And again, Brimble keeping the pressure on late in this second period. Rutkins keeps it alive, puts it back into the corner. Brimble trying to dig it out to find that open man. Find Hargreaves at the point. Push it back, Johnson. Out in front. It's picked up by a Swindon defender. Well, played away finally. You're rotating that puck around uh, in front of the goal there. It's only going to be a matter of time before it either goes in a net or the defender picks it up. Looking to find an open man, does so. Oh. Turns, trying to find out in front. Oh, Shot well saved. In. Dibble manages to get his glove on it and just knock it away. There's two good attempts there by Swindon. Hargreaves. Finds Long, Long takes the shot. Over. And it's going to be Andrews back with the puck. Quick line change for Swindon. The court short, Aldridge. Just gingerly lays it on net. Turned out by Thompson. And now tied up in the corner. Three minutes, eight remain. Goal in this so far. And cleared away there. Straight onto the stick of Dibble. Chased down by West. Armet uses the board. Plays that out. Picked up centre ice by Spitfires. By Blackwell. Aldridge ties up. Spitfires have come out with that. It's only come to Armour centre ice. Skates it on. Oh. Knocks it forward for Harding. Harding tries oh, to well cheekily played. chip it up. <laughs> Thompson just punches it out the air. Back in the slot. Oh, and West has picked it up. It's gone past all them players. Oh, and it's knocked out the way. And Stefan. Stefan. Yeah, it's bringing it out. Takes the shot. Oh, nice move. Fuck up and <laughs> <laughs> off the head of armour again. He was tempted to do it earlier. <laughs> and the puck into the corner. Behind the Brimble net. As we look into the final two minutes now of this period. Puck 
with Stefan Thrower. And the pace has certainly picked up a little bit, Ben, hasn't it, since the first period? Yeah, Harding trying to skill move and it's not quite pulled off, pucks loose. Spearing, leaves that in centre ice, picked up by the Spitfires. Schiffer trying to keep the pressure on, but it's gone back the other way to Elite. Elliot finds Long. Long trying to balance the puck on the end of his stick. <laughs> trying to dig it out in the corner now. A Swindon, one minute 20 remain. It's a 5 4 advantage to Brimble. Oh, what is it there? No! The oh. town front corner scramble. Oh, Great save well saved, Thompson. That back door was open there and didn't take advantage. Oh, and he has now. Oh, <laughs> long there. <laughs> knocks once, doesn't get in, knocks twice and finds his way in. Yeah, well done. You see from the replay. He just catches Thompson out. That back door again. And the opportunity like that, you've got to take it. It's now Swindon Spitfires four. Brimble Elite six. As we enter the final 40 seconds of this second period, after that Kieran Long goal, I'm assuming that Swindon are just going to want to try and kill off this clock and take it into the... Locker room is super feeding that back for Brimble. Elliot tries to push it forward to Long. Does so. Long trying to find Super. Great cut out there by the defender. Swindon possibly trying to pinch a goal in the dying seconds. And we're into the final five seconds. Out in front. Oh, Look, Nate. Go on. Final second. And there's your buzzer there. Well. An interesting second period, and dare I say it, Ben, the difference between these two teams, Young Bellamy there. Well, <laughs> two vital goals that have brought the elite team into the lead. Yeah, may maybe I think that uh, Brimble felt like they were getting a bit pushed on by Swindon, so played the, the old, you know, Lilo Bellamy wild card. You know, you've, got, you've got to gift him a goal, haven't you? I think every team needs a. A uh, 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 Leo <laughs> Bellamy uh, wild card. Certainly. Well, As we enter the, the second period break here. Elite Hockey offer a full customization package on their gloves. The Elite Max stick comes in a variety of curves and flex, suitable for left and right handed players. Place your order today, either via Facebook or the website. So an interesting second period, Ben, in this charity game here at Swindon Ice Rink. And uh, we find ourselves with the Swindon Spitfires 4 and the Brimble Elite 6. And like I said, I think you know, those two little Bellamy goals are the difference between these two teams. But we saw a lot better hockey, the pace was a lot better. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, whether you know you want, you want to count the two credit goals to Lilo as gifts or not, you know, it's your decision. I think they were. They looked like they had a bow on them when they went in that. <laughs> um, so, well, admittedly, we're looking at a four-all game, OK? Now we're entering the third period. Now it's a different game now because we've not no running clock, so we stop start. I think we're going to see players play now. Yeah, I think it's time to uh, take the bubble wrap off and uh, let them loose a little bit. Yeah, handcuffs off. <laughs> let the wild boys out there. So we're going to have ourselves a lovely little ice cutter, a nice fresh sheet of ice out there for the players when they come back in this third period, and uh, hopefully we'll see some gloves drop as well, Gary. Well, that's what I'm waiting for, because at the moment, the only gloves that have dropped were my uh, leather driving gloves for my Jaguar outside. Yeah, if you believe that. <laughs> uh, but uh, um, I'm kind of hoping that I thought there might have been some sort of rivalry there, a little bit of a, you know, somebody wanting to have a go at dropping the gloves, because we always get one of them at a charity game. Yeah, you know, there's still plenty of time in this game, though. We've got a whole another 20 minute period, so who knows? Well, with that, I think it's time to go down to the ice as we start this third period right here on Drop the Puck. 
So an interesting second period, Ben, in this charity game here at Swindon Ice Rink. And uh, we find ourselves with the Swindon Spitfires 4 and the Brimble Elite 6. And like I said, I think you know, those two little Bellamy goals are the difference between these two teams. But we saw a lot better hockey, the pace was a lot better. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, whether you know you want you want to count the two crunchy goals to Lilo as gifts or not, you know it's your decision. I think they were. They looked like they had a bow on them when they went in that. <laughs> um, so well, I'd admittedly we're looking at a four-all game. Okay, now we're entering the third period. Now it's and a different game now because we've not no running clock, so we stop start. I think we're going to see players play now. Yeah, I think it's time to uh, take the bubble wrap off and uh, let them loose a little bit. Yeah, handcuffs off. <laughs> let the wild boys out there. So we're going to have ourselves a lovely little ice cutter, a nice fresh sheet of ice out there for the players when they come back in this third period. And uh, hopefully we'll see some gloves drop as well, Gary. Well, that's what I'm waiting for, because at the moment the only gloves that have dropped were my uh, leather driving gloves for my Jaguar outside. Yeah, if you believe that. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, um, I'm kind of hoping that I, I thought there might have been some sort of rivalry there, a little bit of a, you know, somebody wanting to have a go at dropping the gloves because we always get one of them at a charity game. Yeah, you know, there's still plenty of time in this game, though. We've got a whole another 20 minute period. So who knows? Well, with that, I think it's time to go down to the ice as we start this third period right here on Drop the Puck. Well, welcome to the third period. And uh, an interesting one, this is going to be Ben. Yeah, so the initial 10 minutes of this third period will be run in regulation play, as in the clock will stop when the puck goes dead or they need to face off. And then after that, the final 10 minutes will return back to a running clock. Right, so we're going to have an interesting 10 minutes, I think. And then, uh, and then we'll have a speedy final 10 minutes as somebody tries to run away with the game. <laughs> But uh, we're going to get ready now as the officials draw the teams to the centre spot. And I think Super's going to take this place off. I think they're going to allow oh. the young mascot of the Spitfires to ice for this one. Love day. Little love day. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And he's won the face off. Long. Oh, hang on a minute. Accidentally knocks it forward for him to skate on to. Oh, he's broken oh, through. Oh, he's got it. He's run away from him. He's oh. gone round the back. Maybe he's looking for the wraparound. Oh, close. Oh. It's going to be fed back in, is it? Yeah. Oh, oh, it's too keen. It's too keen. Is there a ribbon on that one? <laughs> I think there's another one, yeah. Oh! oh. And <laughs> the elite making sure that the uh, Dibble's unable to get anywhere near it. It's in! Yeah. <laughs> well, oh look, are we getting the one knee? And little love day is pleased as punch. It's a little fist pump off his arm, man. <laughs> Skate get, back to the bench. Get off the ice, son. <laughs> right, wow. down to ten minutes. Six of... five. And we're off. The mascot there for Swindon scoring, and now we're back in regulation play. 18.55 to go in this third and final period. And the hockey picking its pace back up to something we're used to. As Spitfires make an effort there, forcing the netminder of Brimble Elite to go down. Tied up on the boards. Skates through, does Andrews. Oh, lads, well done. Andrews takes a shot Ooh. straight to the chest of Thompson. Has to scoop it away to safety quickly. And it's Loveday who picks that puck up loose into the corner. Skating it through now, Spitfires. Andrews gets his stick on it, deflects it back. Easy pick up there for Super. Super back to Berglass. Feeds it forward, centre ice wide open there. Is right. Elliot, Darren Elliot. Super in support in the slot, tries to take it himself. Oh! It's come up just above Thompson and back down. 
And now keeping the pressure on, Mark Blackwell to Swindon. Great poke check there. Tries to clear it away. Picked back up by Aldridge. Aldridge, back door looking for it. Great communication between the elite players there. Now Swindon trying to clear it out. Only found Rock. Rock takes the big shot. Great stick save. Aldridge again. Tries to work the puck round. Loose puck's going to be jumped on there by Bishop. Trying to clear it off the board. Loose puck. Centre. West was expecting his teammate to chase up onto it. Does. And it looks like it's McGurk in between the pipes now. To the Brimble Elite. So Kevin McGurk getting an airing out of the base in Stoke Buffaloes. And now Armour picks it up at the point. Aldridge in support. Skates it into the middle. Finds a player over in the form of Harding. Dispossessed by Swindon, who looked to turn. Take it down the other end quickly. 16.39 remain in this third period. Find Granville. Granville, big stretch pass back over the other side of the ice. Miscommunication there, but Swindon still in possession of the puck. Blackwell feeds it back. Picked up by Shrimpton. Shrimpton oh, loses it out it. to Harding. Harding oh, tries well to go saved. between the legs. Shot. Thompson oh, denies. As quick as he gets it out, it's back in there. Aldridge now trying to find a man. Finds Harding. Trying to get that rotation set up. Well stolen. And quickly by Stefan. Taken down the other way. And you can see his uh, experience there. Armour. Pays it over to Harding again. Great poke check coming in there. Oh, from Morton. Off the official lane on the side. Well, it wouldn't be dropped the puck, Gary, unless an official gets hit. <laughs> Granville <laughs> has kept that in. He's one on one. Takes a shot. He McGurk denies. Oh, round the back. Now, Brimble Elite desperately trying to clear it out. Great pressure coming from Swindon early on in this third. Brimble in the centre. Knocks it forward for Jones. Jones just trying to get a tip of the stick on it. It's going to be cleared out and away, only to the point kept in by Berglass. Finds Price. Price thinks about it. Tries to find oh. Jones in support. Jones back of the stick. Yes, and he gets it. And he's going to be a happy man with that one. That's Ben Jones. And the crowd are loving it. <laughs> so Ben Jones scoring another goal there for the Brimble Elite. Takes him clear by two. It's now 7-5 in favour of this All-Star team. 15-03 remain in this third period. As the face-off quickly won and picked up by Swindon. Taking it oh. all the way through. Love Day tries to find man back in the oh. slot. Tried to find Rouse, couldn't. It's crowded out. And there's Andrews. Andrews. Under pressure there from Bishop. Great pass and deflected on. Swindon able to recover that puck though. Trying to clear it out. Love Day trying to make sure Cal doesn't get there. But it's quickly scooped up and put to safety. Back through. Going to be some pressure. Chasing Ooh. down from Cal. Thompson interjects oh, himself. Price. Price. Oh. Looks like Thompson got a small deflection on that, send it up and over. He's not an outstanding game, Thompson. And now back in. A lot of board play coming in. 13.56 remain in this third and final period. <laughs> and Carl, Carl had all the Davis there. Is it Dave? No, sorry, yet yeah, stripped him. <laughs> now Brimble again, working that puck round. Andrews keeping possession, puts it around, uses the boards. Picked up far side in the corner. Plenty of men open. Finds one, takes oh. a shot, and Rookins denied by Thompson. Yeah, smothered that away. 
stops play. Well, we can all get a breather now. A little bit more interesting, Ben. You can see uh, the teams are trying to put plays together, make things happen. Face off to the left of Thompson's, picked up Mumbai. Brimble, but it's chased down. Great. Great hustle there. Yeah, Crouch had put a bit of pressure on. And now Swindon stepping it up a gear a little bit. Great pass through. Tries to find a Western centre ice, does so. Got Crouch skating on with him. Takes the shot, McGurk. Great blocker save. West into the corner, tries to keep the puck deep in the Brimble zone. Picked up by the Elite in centre ice. There's Rutkins, Tom's Rutkins. Puts his foot down. Pressuring Thompson there between the pipes. And the puck's just gone up and out of play into the Swindon bench. Well, it's a great crowd here today at Swindon Ice. And uh, the fans are being treated to some nice hockey. They certainly are. And it's a face-off quickly won by Elite. Goes straight back. Again, round the back of the Swindon net. Long. Uses his skill to get round his man. Still Kieran Whoa. Long. He's just taken out completely. <laughs> Denied. And now it's Mark Blackwell. The Spitfires tries to find a man in the middle. Well, no so. shot. Finds Schiffers. Schiffers skated in, but he's deep possessed. And those elite sticks. Oh, look very nice, Gary. I must admit that the Brimble team is sporting. Well, I believe there's something special about them, isn't there, Ben? Yeah, each stick was obviously personalised with their own name and uh, team and the flag, which is nice. It's part of the package offered by Elite Sports, Elite Hockey, sorry, when you uh, you purchase your sticks. Yeah, nice little touch and uh, something to remember the day by. And now, again, Hargreaves pushes that over, Elliot, into the corner. We're approaching that final 10 minutes of this period. Halfway point where the clock will go into oh. continuous. Out in front, off a body from Brimble. And super there, trying his best to get that put back. Schiffers knocks it into the zone, chases it up himself. Quick line change for the Spitfires. Finds. Man far side, long. Absolutely outstanding skill on display from the elite players today. Still 7-5 in favour of the Brimble Elite as Loveday picks a loose puck up. High slot, puts it over to the wing. Skate in does Rouse. Man pushing on the net. Oh, Arrives oh, late. Oh, well played. And that was Stephen Thrower. Sat right on front of McGurk. Brimble Elite quickly down the other end though. Aldridge trying to find armour. He's shut out. Rouse to and Bishop. Bishop off the boards. Great play and pressure coming from the Swindon team. But Brimble every time just able to whip that puck out and find a man sitting at the point. Oh, Aldridge fed that in, looking for somebody there in the centre. Well cut off by the uh, Spitfires. Armour knocks that forward. Harding tries to put it back over for Armour. We're into the final 10 minutes. Clock will run. Berglas knocks it around. Aldridge oh. finds Spearing. Goal and the paint getting crowded. Need to pull that puck out to go in again. The Swindon get a stick in the way. Use the boards and clear it. It's going to be chased down by Croucher. McGurk's out of his net. Finds oh. the man right up the other end of the ice. Oh. Harding's crowded out. Again, Davis does enough. Stefan. Knocks that to West. West to Croucher. Loose pucks jumped on and turned straight back down the other end by Brimble. Bellamy's back out on the ice. Harding looks to find Bellamy in the slot. 
West clears it away. Oh, it's a three on one. Can they do something now? Oh. Shot comes in, goes wide, crouches there to get the rebound. No. Oh, and a lovely back to the cherry. Oh, lovely deflection shot. Again, another shot comes in. Brimble able to turn it out though. And the Spitfires looking to get on this scoreboard. Close this gap. Bellamy skates it on. Takes it round one. Round two, lose it. It's put back in. Oh. Out in front is Thompson. Stabs it oh. with his skate. Clears it away. Bratley plays that puck up. Chased down by Chiffers. Chiffers uses the boards. Andrews trying to keep possession. Shot in. McGeek's down. Shot coming from Granville. And it looks like McGeek's able to get his pad on him. Well, interestingly enough, Ben, we can see that uh, Swindon Spitfires are wearing their yellow and blue shirts. But most notably, the shirts that the Brimble Elite are wearing each have their individual club badge on as well. Yeah, just another little memento from Elite Sport, Elite Hockey. Uh, just a, a thank you for the guys for uh, donating their time and effort today. Obviously, nobody's getting paid to be here today. Yeah. Everyone's doing it off their own back, and it's all for a great cause. And yet again, shows you how much the hockey family can come together when needed. Well, it's nice to see these charity games where players from the various teams can come together oh, and enjoy a game of hockey. Certainly, as Andrews picks the puck up in his own zone in the corner, it's fed out to Hargreaves. Hargreaves puts it straight over to Jones. Jones looks to feed Bellamy, unable to do so. On the back of the Spitfire's net. And now Swindon chasing that down. Cow tries to use the boards, but he's puck's kept in. Out in front! Oh! Tries to steal a sneaky one. Bellamy jumps on the loose puck and takes it down the other end. Beats Plays it. that on oh. side. He's going to go for a line change. And now Brimble set up oh, in the, well caught, in the Spitfire zone. And Thompson putting on a little bit of a masterclass today. He's had a good game despite the score. Bishop takes a shot early, asking questions of McGurk. Oh, and the pace is picked up over here. Stratford. Oh, it's him. And he does it. Lovely great backhand. Little, oh. Great little toe drag. Yeah, he pulls that across, slips it back in, past Thompson, and that takes a score to Swindon. Spitfires five, Grimble Elite eight. So, as you can see in the replay there, great, great effort by... Stratford. Thompson, as we were just saying, having a really good game. And we get back underway. Stratford again. Immediately picks that puck up. Puts it in. 5.37 remain in the game and counting. Remember, we are into a running clock situation. Swindon trying to cover every shot. And now Spitfire's turn, go the other way. Croucher finds West, goes back in. Unable to do so. Mark Blackwell. <laughs> Trying to turn it round. Oh. And it's in. And that's Rutkins. Yeah, he's been looking to get in the back of the net. And deservedly, he's looked a really exciting player when he's been out there on the ice. You well, can certainly, see. I was going to say, you know, it, it's Tom Rookins, you know, he's a Cardiff Devils player. 300 games, 277 goals for his name so far. Well, prolific scorer, likes the puck in the net. And today's no exception. Certainly, as we're now into a 9 5 situation. Four goals clear now are the Brimble Elite. Four minutes, 22 remain in the game. And now Johnson lays it off for Rutkins. Swindon desperately trying to clear. Take it round. And Brimble going for those double figures if they can. Certainly is. 
Some great tape-to-tape -tape passing being demonstrated. Yeah. Watkins into the corner, looking for a man. Brimble just working the puck round, chewing up the remainder of the clock. As much as we're seeing some nice skill from the Brimble players, can't take it away from the Swindon guys. They've been playing well defensively. Loose puck comes all the way down there for McGear. It's going to be a two-on-two -two chase. Oh, picked up though. Ratley's Aye. picked it up. Ratley. Tries to find a man out in front. Oh. Schiffers can't quite control it. It's put back in. Bratley now. Trying to get it around that white curtain. Does so. West playing Spearing great gets that out. He's played well today, Spearing. Yeah, Scott Spearing and Stratford pushing that down now. But yeah, Scott Spearing's had a great game today. And now Swindon looking to break away again. Oh, stolen. Oh, and it's oh. turned back the other way again. Shot oh. comes in. McGurk just gets his glove in the way. Puts it up and over. Yeah. Two minutes 42 remain in this game. That's Stephen Thrower there trying to slot that one in. And now Armour. Knocks it back for Elliot. Elliot back to Armour. Out in front. Oh. Just outside oh. the paint. Berglas picks it up. Finds Long. Long takes his time. Oh, nice defensive play. Just frustrating. Oh. Goes in again. And Great again. save by Thompson. And again, the Swindon defence. Stop the elite team. As we enter the final two minutes of this outstanding exhibition game. The Gare just gloves that out the, the air, puts it on the deck. And Brimble, with Super, turns to face, finds Long. Long brings it between his legs, takes it through one side into the corner. Passes that around. Ryan Spearing, Spearing. Ties up with West, forced out the zone. Elites have to come out and reset. Beglass finds a man over again, trying to find Elliot. It's one, one versus five at the moment. After a quick line change, remaining players from Elite Brimble back on the ice. One minute 15 remain. Oh, Shot Andrews. comes in from Andrews. You can see him looking for that corner, top corner. Now tied up in the corner, trying to dig that out. Still there as the clock's getting chewed up. <laughs> we into the final minute. It's a player lying on the floor. Steffi. Davis. <laughs> Pushes out West into the corner. Speed at West. Oh, he's gone away from him. Brings it back. Out front, one time from Croucher. Misses it. Gets a second bite of it. McGurk's dropped his stick. I think he was trying to shut that lane off for the poke oh. pass. Somebody's lost the glove. <laughs> <laughs> Armour and West just sharing a hug on the boards. There is a glove on the ice, but it's not the way we would hope. As now Swindon. It's not the kind of dropping I want. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken back in though. Harding gets brick walled out. We're into the final eight seconds. And Swindon behind their own net. Looking for the wraparound. Elliot, and that's your game. Well. <laughs> What do you say, ladies and gentlemen? We've seen some great players on the ice today. Yeah, you're getting a chance to see some of the guys like Kieran Long and Tom Druckins you wouldn't normally get to see. It's been a, a good exhibition. It's been great fun. The players have enjoyed themselves thoroughly by the looks of it. And regardless of the score, which is, by the way, it's ended Swindon Spitfires 5, Brimble Elite 9, and it's take nothing away from it. Swindon played well, I think, Ben. Certainly, you know, I think if it have had to pick an MVP for them, I'd give it to the netminder, Thompson. Yeah, without a doubt, Thompson played well. Uh, West looked speedy up the wings, trying to feed it in. Love Day, of course, uh, played well. But um, And their defence in, in, in total was frustrated that Brimble Elite team many times. Yeah, a few times, you know, they, they 
the elite guys went to the bag of tricks to uh, get round them and stuff. But otherwise, certainly a great demonstration of the uh, the ability and skill coming out of Swindon here. But for me, uh, one guy today on the scoreboard twice, little Bellamy there. He's been a, a he's almost like a, a little bee, a brimble bee, if you like. He was buzzing around on the ice, slotted it into the net, gave them that two-goal advantage at the end of the second period, which they've built on in the third, and to give them the win today. But, of course, some other great players in that team. Harding, of course, had a great game. Um, Long, Kieran Long. And I've got to say, Spearing, for me, was a, a really key player for them. Yeah, Scott Spearing had a good game a few times making sure he's in the right place at the right time, keep hope checks. But all in all today, I think, you know, the ultimate winner here is hockey, because it's been a great exhibition of what, you know, a showcase of what's available at all levels. It's been great for the hockey community coming together. Brimble Hill Special School have benefited. Great event put on today by Ben Jones, Simon and Bellamy. So as the players take their gloves off, shake hands with each other, and talking the gloves, of course, Ben, that gives us an opportunity to go to our sponsors of the day, Elite Hockey. Elite Hockey offer a full customization package on their gloves. The Elite Max stick comes in a variety of curves and flex suitable for left and right handed players. Place your order today, either via Facebook or the website. And with man of the match for both teams here, Lilo Bellamy and Alfie Loveday. Alfie, you got out there, you scored today, how do you feel? Good, I'm proud. And Lilo, Lilo, you got a couple of goals here yourself, how does that make you feel? It feels really great to be scoring against adults and yeah, I really enjoyed it. And then obviously to be recognised as the best player on the team as well and come out with the Man of the Match award. Are you happy about that? Yes. And Lilo, yourself? Yeah, I'm really happy. I actually didn't think I would get it before. Well guys, we look forward to catching you in the future when you're playing for the bigger teams and we'll see you again soon. And with Swindon Spitfires captain Gary Loveday. Gary, you've got to, like, one, at being impressed with the performance put out by the guys and also having the ability to skate against the guys you did today. Oh, it's fantastic. To be honest, there's so much effort that's gone into making today happen. Just to play against these guys out there, just to, they only turned it up, I think, in the last 10 or 15 minutes of the third period. And then we were, we were just sat in our end trying to get out. But great experience for everyone, certainly our team. So many people down to support. So much effort. What a great day for the challenge and a great day for hockey in Swindon generally. So obviously the Spitfires now going into the new season, what are you guys going to be looking for? Well we're trying to strengthen the team a bit up, so uh, looking for some guys to come down. We've done some trials recently, um, just looking to kick on from last year really, one point off winning the Southern Conference, uh, a close game, so many good teams in there. Uh, so we're just looking to kick on a bit next season, uh, enjoy carrying on, enjoy playing hockey down here. Now, it's a little bit of an unspoken mecca swindle when it comes to hockey, really, isn't it? Because the amount of people that have passed through, you can pretty much guarantee in the English game somebody's either played with somebody or been coached with somebody that's come through Swindon. Yeah. How pivotal is it that what's going on here? Well, it's, it's, it's massive. Um, even looking at the guys out there tonight, I mean, I'm probably older than I look, but... I remember 20 or 30 years ago playing down here with Ryan Aldridge. Ryan Aldridge has gone all the way through the coaching ranks. He's now in the OHA, leading the coaching there. He's coached and, and captained the Cats team. He's been abroad. And that, that guy grew up playing hockey in Swindon. Uh, the likes of Alan Armour, Ads Andrews, these guys have started their careers in Swindon, gone through the juniors and have gone on. They're still playing great hockey now. So it's, it's massive for Swindon. Absolutely, yeah. Now, last final thought of the day. What, what has been the standout moment for yourself? Uh, to be honest, getting on the ice with my lad. Uh, it's not a lot of opportunity to get on the ice with your kid. And when he plays, there's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of sensible stuff that keeps you from getting on the ice with him. He's only little, but um, I cherish those moments that I can get on the ice with him. And hopefully he's going to grow up and, and remember days like today when he's playing hockey. So, um, yeah, it's a fantastic day for me, fantastic day for him. He's going to go home and put that on his mantelpiece. <laughs> well, Gary, thanks. Best of luck and hopefully we'll catch you again soon, mate. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. All the best. So we've had a great day here at Swindon Ice. I'll tell you what, Ben, uh, 
I've enjoyed it. It's, these charity games, as much as people say, are oh, they're a nonsensical kind of event. I know they're always for some sort of fundraiser and some sort of charity, like it has been today. But it's a lot of fun, and it's what ice hockey's all about. It's a family. Yeah, you know, there's, uh, there's one thing you can guarantee that the hockey family can do, and that's come together. And uh, they've come together today, like, you know, in aid of Brimble Hill Special School, absolutely great. As you said, pretty much been a packed sellout stand here. Um, then we've seen after some great hockey on display there. You've got the, ch uh, you know, the, you've had the chance to see some, you know, the players you wouldn't normally get to see play together. The likes of Kieran Long, Tom Rutkins and that, at elite level, playing with, you know, rep guys. These are guys who are playing for fun, basically, you know, against guys who are paid to play. And it's, uh, although they didn't exactly open up full throttle on them, you can still tell that some fun was happening. Well, of course, they're saving themselves for their season with their respective clubs, and obviously they'll be going away and, and prepping ready for the season ahead. Um, which leads me nicely into us at BASM uh, Radio. You can catch all the action from previous seasons on Drop the Puck, where we've had some great archive footage, and, of course, our great playoff action from the NIHL Layla Conference. Uh, I'm looking forward to another season of that, hopefully, Ben, because we've seen some great action from some great teams there. You know, Gary, I, I, I'm looking forward to it myself. I'm already grinning, thinking about it. You've got the likes there uh, of the reigning champions there, uh, the Witness Wild. They're going to be biting at the bit for the silverware this year. You've got the Ultra Maces who've gone away and bolstered themselves a little bit. They're always in contention. We know, obviously, as well. Well, you've got the Dragons, of course, have come down. Now, yeah. we know how good the Dragons were previously in, uh, the, in the lower level in Laidler because they became champions and cup winners as well, playoff cup winners. Be interesting to see if they can replicate that, regroup, and take the experience they've learned from the Model League Conference and, and bode them well for the season ahead in Laidler. Certainly, you know, you've got the Blackburn Hawks uh, second side there now under new control under the davis brothers aaron davis obviously a friend of the show well known gareth davis ex coach there of the dragons two squad from last year what wisdom can those two impart it's it's looking to be an interesting season i'm sure can't take it away there's other teams in there as well could hold jet hold jet telford got, too yeah and you've got uh, coventry as well uh, bradford It'd be interesting to see how that pans out of course you can watch it all here on Drop the Puck. Of course, it's time for us to say goodbye now, but it's been a great day. I've been Gary Lee. I've been Ben Lee. And we've been Drop the Puck. <laughs>